So one of the standout features of Synchro is scripting, and that may sound kind of dumb because every RMM does scripting, but I'm going to show you what, what makes us different. And the, we have a mantra of power through simplicity, and th this is a great example of how that works. So some basic things, you can set up custom categories and then uh, define scripts as one or more categories so you can easily find things. You can also mark them as a favorite. So anywhere in the platform that you need to run a script, you can just pull up a list of your favorites. So if you've got hundreds or even, we've seen thousands, like just crazy amounts of scripts, this is a way to, to quickly grab the stuff that you're going to use most frequently. And then this is a very interesting feature as well, this customer portal feature here. Uh, we have a full-blown customer portal for your customers to access all sorts of facets of, uh, of their needs. So as an example, they can go on, they can create tickets, they can respond to tickets, they can view all their pending invoices, they can even uh, change their billing info or even pay invoices uh, right on the customer portal. Another facet of that, and, and this is completely uh, permission-based, so if you don't want them accessing it, they don't have to, but you can allow them access to their own machines and you can even enable certain scripts to be available in the portal. So if you've got someone tech savvy at that, uh, at that particular customer, they can actually go on and try to like tier one support their own problems with scripts that you give them access to. Very cool, very powerful mm. feature. You can of course add files to scripts. Um, if you wanna have like deployments for any number of software you wanna uh, uh, deploy silently. Uh, we've got a bunch of different script types. We've got PowerShell batch BB script. We have a uh, full-blown Mac agent, so we've got Mac scripting as well, uh, running things as system in the logged in user. And we also have a very cool maintenance option that we built in here maybe about 12 months ago. So folks that, that typically will put a machine in maintenance so it doesn't fire off a bunch of alerts while you're rebooting it or doing updates to it and things like that, we actually took that and we built it into scripting. And the reason we did that is because a lot of times you don't want to be up at three o'clock in the morning running this kind of maintenance on your machines. And you certainly don't want people being notified of, of uh, down servers and things when you know what's going on. So what you can actually do is you can have the script start maintenance mode for any duration you want prior to the script starting. And then it'll time itself out, turn maintenance mode off, and you'll begin getting alerts again. If you want to get real, real precise, you can even enable maintenance mode for the duration of the script. So if you have some real dog machines where a script that should take 60 seconds is taking 10 minutes, that maintenance mode will be enabled for that entire duration. It flows dynamically, which is another very, very cool feature. One of the, one of the strongest assets of our scripting is our script variables. So we have four different variable types that you can enter. The first one is called platform variables, and this is far and away the most powerful feature that we have here. This lets you take any field, custom or otherwise, from the machine, from the customer, from the contact, from your own Synchro instance, and bringing it into your script as a, a variable for you to use, that value is there for you to use. There are literally hundreds of different uh, fields here that you could throw in here and grab. We also have password fields. So if you wanna add a password to a script, but you don't necessarily wanna expose that for your technicians, you can do that as well. Now, when you've got a uh, runtime variable, which is this one at the bottom, this is just for you to enter in some uh, variable yourself at the time you run the script. It could be whatever you want. And then we have a drop down variable right above this, which lets you take that a step further. So I'm sure everybody's had this scenario where your tech fat finger is a variable, it bombs the script, doesn't do what it's supposed to. Well, now you can actually uh, make predefined values and they can only choose from one of these. You can even set the default one if you wanted to, so they know they're supposed to use this unless there's some other need. The last thing we have, and you'll find this below your script, uh, your script editor, is our PowerShell Quick Help or our PowerShell module. What this is, is we have a full-blown public API, and sometimes using an API to perform really cool things is difficult through PowerShell. So we made that super easy. We put a bunch of one-line commands in here that will interact with the API without you having to understand how to code that yourselves. This can be as something as simple as just displaying a message for the end user to creating your own custom RMM alert that you can then remediate in any way you want, which means these scripts can do anything end to end, including the remediation component because it works off a completely custom system. There's all sorts of stuff in here from opening tickets to adding ticket time on, uh, on tickets, adding custom comments on tickets, and you can put these things together as well. So we have some users, this was super cool when they were showing us this, they will run a maintenance script at night while they're asleep. 
They will add billable time based on the duration of that script to a ticket. They will close the ticket and they will literally wake up the next morning with just resolve tickets with billable time on each one. They just convert to an invoice and bill out all while they slept. This is another very, very cool facet of Synchro. Very um, nice. Yeah, that one's a, that's kind of like a fan favorite. You know, we even had somebody that was, uh, they built it in where when customers were late to pay, they made a custom field that said, hey, we're late to pay. And what it would do is it would check that. And if it if they were late to pay, it would just fail to run the script. So they didn't have to like delete scripts or reprioritize anything or put different policies on. They just checked that box. We actually like that so much that we built that into the customer records now. So if you ever want to disable scripting, it's just the click of a button. Another example of where we're taking great ideas from customers and just building them into the platform. Um, running a script is actually just as easy. Now, if you want to do it as a one-off, you have a bunch of options here. Um, you can just run it against all your devices if you wanted to. Uh, we have a pretty complex uh, saved search system. So you can have any kind of criteria you want and make a safe search out of it. And then you can run a script just against that. So very base level, if I just want to run it against my workstations or my servers, I can go ahead and do that. You can also run it against every asset that belongs to a customer. And then we also have a, a very detailed policy inheritance model within Synchro, um, which will inherit uh, policy items from different trees as far as your asset policy goes. And you could even pick a very specific policy folder and have it, have it run to all of those. You could even include nested folders, which is like run it against this folder and every folder that falls underneath this. This part's pretty cool too. And then lastly, um, we're looking at an asset policy here, specifically the scripting component. And there's two elements of this that are very, very powerful as well. The first is script schedules. So within your policy, you can say, okay, um, as an example, we've integrated with Acronis. So here we have a backup job health monitoring script. I'm going to run this daily. I'm going to run it at 12 a.m. And then you can even set your custom variables here too. So every if I don't have a successful backup in five days, this is always going to let me know on any asset out there that belongs to this, uh, this asset policy. Now we also have setup scripts and this is more for keeping compliance. Whoops. So as an example, every single time a, a machine gets added to this policy, I wanna run the script that says install my default software packages. And I wanna say, when do I wanna do that? Well, if it never ran before, if it ran before, I'm okay, it probably did its job. I also wanna set the default power and reboot settings. I can't tell you as an MSP how many times I would go to do something late at night and the end user like shut the machine off, they rebooted, it didn't come back, any number of things that just jacks you up at nighttime, it's super annoying. So this one I'm gonna run always, which means every single time a machine joins this policy, it doesn't matter if it lost the policy, added it back, we're gonna go ahead and reset this for them. This is how you can maintain compliance and then also consistently run the same style scripts over and over on the schedule.